Hey guys, it's Jake representing Standalone Survival, and today we're going to be reviewing the MTech USA Extreme knife. The uh, link that I bought it from will be in the description. Um, I'm just going to show it off. I have a little bit of a custom paint on it. Uh, I just took off the handles, which you can do pretty easily. I'll just show that really quick. Um, you can see the uh, um, hex type allen screws, I guess you'd call them, uh, that you can remove pretty easily and paint it whatever color you want. You could also paint the blade. I chose to just get a flat desert earth uh, color paint job going there. I really like it personally and I also I would recommend this knife because it comes with uh, not paracord but it does come with a bit of a string or a type of cordage with it you can put it around your wrist and it fits really nicely you can chop wood quite easily uh, I'm trying to look around for a piece of wood I can show you guys um, here's a little oops, a little bit of a dry piece of wood not going to be the best demonstration but you can see it chops it pretty well um, there is one downside though that I found. Let me take it off really quick. Uh, this metal tang right here, it's full tang by the way, so you can see that the, you can see it really well now that I spray painted it, but you can see that the whole blade is full tang. This little hilt right here, when I hold it, I have big hands I guess, well not big hands, but decently sized hands, and when I'm swinging it, my hand will come down and hit that and when I'm hitting something hard it it freaking hurts like this this is not really the softest metal and I don't know if you can see that very well but it's pretty sharp like it's not well rounded at all but then again you could also use this to uh, maybe bash out a window I'm not sure um, but there's one thing that's very nice that I like about this is that it comes with these little things which you could use as a saw and you could use it as a lot of things but it's mainly used for barbed wire fences and I know that sounds kind of weird but I'll use it on like a demonstration with a stick really quick just grab one ah uh, what you would do is you grab the barbed wire fence like this and you put it put this in it like that and then you twist it and it snaps like that pretty neat and I really like that they added that and I think another cool another cool feature that they added is that they have a little spot for magnesium like fire rod right here which I would use my uh, I have a fire rod for my Bear Grylls survival knife that right here with me right now I can't get it out And what you do is you take it, you take your fire rod, and you just, and it comes off a lot easier than the, uh, than the Bear Grylls knife. However, I'm going to put that back in there. There's one, uh, little weird thing about this knife, though, is the, uh, it's the way it was shaped. It's not water droplets, which I thought was when I bought it. It's actually, that's how it's molded onto the, into the metal. I'll show that like really close to the screen so you can see that. But needless to say, I don't think it really matters with anything. I'll show off the, uh, the sheath really quick. You put it in, obviously. It's got a nice... Uh, button handle or button I don't know whatever um, comes with string right here plenty of it. it also comes with a bunch of string right in here which I guess you could use to uh, lash to your leg I guess and it I like what it comes with it comes with a uh, little um, clamp right here that you wrap around your leg like this 
and it keeps it nice and secure because this is a pretty big knife um, you can see it like compared to my hand like it's pretty big knife but what I like about it is it comes with a uh, little pouch right here it's velcro um, I store a flashlight and a lighter in here and that it fits pretty well you can see um, you could fit a good deal of stuff in there I think I would recommend this knife however even though it looks a little weird this is this handle right here is plastic by the way I don't think I mentioned that yet sorry about that it's a little cold out but I added this little bit of elastic that does not come with it I added that because I noticed it kind of slid around like that when you uh, when you would put it like run around with it so I put this around it this just hooks over the uh, little bit of metal right there and just keeps it secure I just thought it'd be a good addition it kind of looks a little weird because it's purple but I mean I like it for function over fashion I guess um, but I think that'll wrap it up I'll just get a good size comparison this is the uh, Bear Grylls ultimate survival knife and then this is the Intec USA extreme and that's about the size comparison I don't know if you can see that clearly let's bring it back a little bit but I, I think it's a good knife there's there's a few criticisms with the handle but other than that I think it's a good knife let's get one last look at it 